And so on the heels of my last video as to how to stream media from your ex from your iMac to your Xbox, I found it relevant to actually show you a good way to get media onto your iMac to stream to your Xbox. Uh, this is the most common software that pretty much anyone who puts media on their computer will use. It's called Handbrake. It's a free free piece of software. I will put the link in the sidebar. And I really just want to show you how it works. It's quite simple. You just click Source to pull up the DVD. Click on the Video TS. And this will take a little bit of time to actually scan all the sources. And so let's just give this a second. But you'll also see over here in the side box that there's quite a quite a few uh, presets you can use. I normally don't use any of these uh, just for the fact that I found something that works pretty well for me and I've just kind of stuck to it. But can we, let's give this one second to finish up here. Okay, this is taking a little too long. So I'll just talk about the preset I pretty much use and there is an option to actually add your own presets down here which I honestly just noticed with, so I will probably do that here in just one second. But when it comes to good quality, if you're going to be using this on an iMac, you can probably get away with lower quality than what I'll show you, but if you're going to be using this for your Xbox and you want a good, nice quality picture, what I would definitely suggest for a full-length movie is at minimum 700 megabytes. Uh, that gives you really good quality. It doesn't really wa water anything down, but at the same time, it doesn't take up seven gigabytes like an actual DVD does. So now that this is almost finished, what you're going to see here is you, there's quite a few different things you can pick. A lot of this is blooper clips, extra features. You'll want to click on the one that has the highest amount of time on it. There will be a few DVDs like uh, Transformers 2 I know was a pain because every single one had about an hour and 57 minutes for, well just as an example. I, all of them was really high length in time just for the fact that they didn't want people ripping them. But if you get online, you can always find where to actually look it up. But as I said, a good target size is 700 megabytes. I'm actually going to do 750 just for a little bit of extra, just a little bit of extra quality on that. And then you can go in here and set preset, Xbox 360 streaming, and there you go. Every time you pull, pull it up, that's going to be what you're going to want to click. And then it's really simple. You just click the start. Uh, let's see. Why is... Aha. Uh -huh. It's because that does no longer exist. So just set where you want to put it. Movies. Movies. And go. Slot in before and start. And this will probably take a... And, right down here you'll see it's scanning it and there's progress bar now one thing you can also do on this if let's see cancel you can pull up other items as well while this is going through for example I'm going to be pulling up uh, bedtime stories because I actually ripped this as a full DVD and I'm actually going to shrink it down and just add it to the queue that way it can do multiple jobs at once without having to really really worry about coming back to the computer once every job is done. But this is a really nice piece of software, guys. I That did not work correctly. Okay, maybe it won't work like this. Let's try Fast and Furious. But, guys, this is like the best piece of software I've found for doing this. It works really well. I've, had not, I've never had any issues with it. Um, if you're wanting to do stuff like TV series where you're looking at 30 minutes to 45 minutes. The best advice I can give on that is just on average what I found is good quality is 7.7 .7 megabytes a minute. So figure it out from there. If you're doing a 30 minute movie, do it somewhere around 200, 231 megabytes. That'll still give you good quality, but it's not going to be something like 700 where one season of Scrubs, for example, is going to take up your entire hard drive. But guys, this is Nick. This is a Handbrake. It is a free piece of software. I'll put the website up, and I will see you guys later.